Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. In previous tutorial, we learned to create a scrollable screen with dynamic UI. We created this custom looking form. So if you haven't watched the video, the link is in the description. If you want to support me, just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to follow this tutorial series, hit the bell icon too, so you don't miss any notification on upcoming tutorials. In today's video, we are going to discuss about variables and canvas app. So before starting this tutorial, let us first discuss on what is a variable. So variable is nothing but a name that is used to refer a piece of information or data. That data can be of type number, a string, boolean, etc. Okay. And we can later on modify the piece of information with the help of that variable. Okay. Now this definition can be a little bit complicated, but let me simplify it to you. Let's say I have this piece of information, like you see this data, this is what, this is nothing but a data, right? This text is nothing but data, this is a string kind of data, right? And I have to use, the, I have a task to use this data, like oh, 10,000 times I need to use this data in my code, okay? So one way of doing it, like let me just copy this once and I'll just copy this piece of data 10,000 times. Now just think of it like how big our code is going to look if I just use this piece of information 10,000 times. Okay. So to, so to reduce the space, what we do is we just define this whole string data once within a variables. Okay. So let, uh, so let's say if I create one variable, variable my text and in, inside that my text, I stored this piece of information. Okay. Now, instead of using this whole thing 10,000 or 1000 time, I'll just use the name of that variable. Okay. So that is why a variable is nothing but a name that is used to refer a piece of information. I hope I'm making sense. Okay. So now let's talk about variables in power app or canvas app. So we have four types of variable. The first is global variable. The second is context variable. The third is component. The fourth is collections. Now talking about global variables, wherever you will just see the term global variable, this global means that the, this kind of variable can be used anywhere in that code. And in, in our case, we have app. So it's a scope is app only. And this variable can be used anywhere in the app. Okay. The function for it is like this set. We use set function to define global variable and then the first parameter we have this variable name and the second parameter we have value that value can be of type number number is nothing but integer float or decimal then we have a string just like this boolean is true false record and table you all know like the table of records okay and initially variable like this variable will be blank uh, it will make more sense when i'll just show you this thing in the app now talking about context variable, so it is very much similar to global variable, just that its scope is within the screen only. So in our app, we have multiple screen, right? So its scope is within the screen, so can only be used in a particular screen in the app. Okay, and the syntax for this is this. Update context, then normal bracket, then curly bracket, variable name, colon, then we define value. Okay. Uh, component variable so we haven't learned about components in power app so just think of component as a screen only so similar to like this we have component variable so the variable that are used within the component are just component variable rest all things are same uh, now talking about collection unlike these three collection is little bit different so collection can be defined as a data source. Okay. If we see if I create some variable and that variable, I want to make that variable as a data source. So that variable will be called as collection. Okay. So here, see, see this, it holds a table that can be referred from referenced from anywhere in the app. It allows contents of table to be modified rather than being set as a whole can be saved to local device for later use so like this thing is the best thing about collection like if we are making app for app like which should work in offline mode too so we can use collections okay 
so we can save data in collections even in offline mode okay and its sc scope is also within the whole app so we can use it anywhere once we define it then we can use that collection anywhere inside our app all right so let's head over to our ca canvas app so i created this blank app with the name variable tutorial and i've created two screens in it you can also create a screen just click on this just create the screen so i have these two blank screen with me okay so let us define our first variable so i'll head over to insert i'll have one label with me i just create one button okay all right so i have this button right and this button has this property on select right so it's on select property i'll define my global variable first let's say set and inside set i'll say where change text and i'll say welcome to lmc okay see this is the name of the variable see here variable and this is the value this is a string kind of value i'm storing inside this what i said by default like this variable will be blank see i double clicked on it see what it, it contains does it contain this welcome to lmc no right when it will contain this value when once i'll click on this this button then it will contain this piece of information inside it okay so let me just copy the name of this variable and let's say instead of this text now i'll just paste that this uh, where change text name of this variable okay and let let me just copy this paste this two variables okay so i have this two labels with me with the same things inside them now let me play the app let me click on this button and see i am seeing like the name up here right so this variable now contain this data welcome to lmc okay and if i change here last okay and if i now play the app again until unless i play press this button this data will not come inside that variable okay so see now it is coming right so as i told earlier global variable can be used anywhere within the app so let me just copy this let me go to screen number two let me paste it here and see no error right i am seeing this label up here as well now where can you see like you have hundred of variables like to keep the track of them we have this thing see up here on this sixth one we have variables on this left hand side you see this x kind of icon just click on it so see if you go to global variable up here and click up here so see the definition of it so where like this variable is defined okay where chain text it is defined in this button if i click on this so it will say like you have defined this code here you have defined this variable here inside this button okay where we have used it so you have used this inside this this label inside this label and in screen number two also okay so in this way you can keep track of your variables okay now let us create context variable let me name it as global btn let me copy paste this uh, let me name it as context button okay so here i'll just change this code <coughs> i'll use update context so this is a syntax for context variable update context then this normal bracket inside normal bracket we have this curly bracket we close this and then we give the name of that variable so uh, let us give where text context okay something like this and for okay see don't use this double quotes okay here simply just use the name okay and for the value we will say this type of 
variable can be used within a screen only okay so i have the so let me just copy the name of it and now in in this label instead of this i'll just paste this thing okay so see similar to like our global variable initially it is also blank until unless i press the button and once i press the button i'll see the text up here this type of variable can be used within a screen only so what will happen if i this time copy this thing and paste it in another screen see it will throw me an error okay now what is the error it is throwing see it is saying the name isn't valid where text contact context isn't recognized so it is not recognizing in different screen in this screen i can use it thousand of times see if i just do copy paste i can use this thousand of time but in this screen i cannot use it okay similar to like our global variable we can keep the track of our context variable from here you can see so where text context we have created this is a definition inside this button we have where do we have used it we have used it inside this label this label this label okay all right uh, third thing is that component variable so i haven't taught you about the components so see we have this screen right so we have components too you can similar way like you create your screen you can create component and the variable inside this component will be named as uh, let me add some label here let me add one button here okay inside this button set where component text and here i'll say my text okay so global variable work okay let me just copy this name let me go up here go to its text i'll paste this again first initially it will be blank i need to press this button and i'll see my text up here okay so now this variable contain my text now let's head over to our variable section in our component variable see component we have this variable right so we are seeing this variable inside that component variable this will not come inside this global okay just keep a note of it this will directly come inside this component variable so to define component variable it is similar to global variable firstly you will need to create a component and inside that component uh, we we have we just use the syntax only the global variable syntax okay so done right now we will head over to our screen so we have seen like the uh, first three the global variable the context variable and the component variable now the third one is collection let me create one more button i'll say collection button btn okay collection btn and here what i'll do the syntax for this is like collect okay the name of the collection collection emp i'll say employee collection of employee and we will use curly braces and inside let's say emp id uh, i'll give id one emp name employee name let's give a name as a string so i'll give my name emp department so let's give our it department okay so see like this is how we can okay wait huh don't use okay now let me format it so that it will be more easy to you to understand see this emp id i have provided one then this then this okay so do we have any data inside this collection yet no right we need to press the button so we'll just press the button okay now we'll close this now to see the data inside this collection we have data tables okay so we'll just use data table data table we will just connect this data table to this uh, to this thing i'll add field i'll add all the field quickly added the field okay now see 
uh, where is the data table let us move this data table little bit down and see up here I am seeing seeing the data right let me delete these two let me increase the size of it so see if I again press on this button see it, it will again create again see but if you don't want like this you want like ID one this thing only once so we have like two two formulas for it okay so the first two function for it the first is collect and the second is clear collect clear collect will first clear this collection and then collect this information okay so see this time even if we if I press thousand of time it will just input the data once because it is just clearing and then again pushing this data clearing then pushing this data let me create two three more record uh, let us say ID 2 Brian he's also from ID ID three Sam let's say sales okay now this time if I click on this so see three data I am seeing up here so this is how let me just format it okay so see so this is the syntax of it the first thing is collection name then the, uh, you just define the item within this curly braces okay so this is how we define like the rows okay so done right this is done and now I told you that a collection can be used within our app anywhere within our app so let me copy this let me paste it in a screen number two and see it didn't throw any error so it is working I had defined this here inside this button and I can use it anywhere in the app okay so this is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it you learned what are variables in canvas app what are the different types of variables and now you will be able to create them in the next one we will just create one use case of them we will use one of our forms okay which we have created in the previous video we will use that and we will use these variable also and we will just create one simple functionality okay so thank you so much for watching take care i'll see you in the next one